happy wednesday it's really wednesday this time um we are about to make our sheet pan meal and i forgot to pull out all of my like dishes to um you know to, to pack everything in but it's still going to be kind of warm by the time we finish cooking so i don't really want to pack it in a dish anyway no no alcoholic beverage tonight tonight i am sipping on some white grape sparkling water beverage it's just sparkling water white grape oh this is not what i was hoping i do not like the sparkling waters that have aspartame or aspartame or whatever this one has it it's not too too bad but i prefer the sparkling waters that don't have flavor if i'm gonna drink it by itself anyway let's get started so i forgot the green beans i think that's all i want to do they did not have any asparagus at walmart today bummer so i have these trader joe's um green beans french cut and since i'm gonna just go ahead and put them on the pan they're frozen so i'm gonna go ahead and add those to the pan so for those of you who are new, my name is T. Um, I go by Simply Tanya Renee here on good old YouTube. Y'all here in these YouTube streets, we go by Simply Tanya Renee. And um, we do everything over here. This is a lifestyle content channel. We do not um, discriminate. <laughs> we cook, we make cocktails, we make mocktails, we take trips we like to go to eat so if it's life it's happening here so that's what we are doing today we are cooking yesterday we cooked and the other day we went to a wine expo see told you we do some everything over here all right so i have two sheet pans here and i'm gonna show them to you in a second because i want some green beans on mine too what did my phone just did my camera just cut off no something just made a weird noise like a bloop did y'all hear that maybe it was my phone oh yeah it was my phone i got a youtube notification hey youtube notification all right so we have the green beans whoops oh Oh, and by the way, if I didn't say it already, we're making a sheet pan meal. That way, I want to try to do things that, because I love to cook. And I want to try to make meals that are, one, affordable, two, easy, three, quick, and four, spread that they will spread out so they will last you more than one setting. So today we're doing a sheet pan meal, and I have green beans here that I have put on two sheets i have one um sheet pan here cookie sheet here and i have another one here and the reason i have two is because my husband eats meat for those of you who don't know i do not i'm a pescatarian so i typically tend to um i do a lot of fish a lot of um all seafood i'm a seafood lover and some days i just do vegetarian options like yesterday i did tacos he had chicken i had vegetarian enough of that so today we're getting ready to do these sheet pan meals so we're gonna go ahead and cut these carrots they've already been rinsed i did not um take the skin off and i've learned that the only time i'll take the skin off is if you have like the little pieces that like that the reason i don't do that anymore is because i wash them really good and I try to brush them, but I don't take them off because I was watching a documentary, or was it just a channel? It was something that said that a lot of the nutri nutrients are in the, the um, skin of the carrot. So I kind of stopped like doing that unless I'm making something that I definitely don't want the skins in. So I'm just gonna take these carrots, that was a horrible cut, and I'm just gonna cut them, and I'm gonna spread the carrots on the sheet pan and once i do that everything will get seasoned i'm not a carrot lover i eat them just because i know they're good for you but otherwise i don't like carrots and i don't like peas but i eat it just because it's healthy so 
it's kind of too big of a chunk. Uh, there's no rhyme or reason to the way that I'm cutting these other than I'm cutting the ones that are really thick pieces because it just makes sense to me to not have super thick pieces. Um, so I got the carrots cut and I'm just going to put everything on the sheet pan. And I know I look crazy, leaned over that, there towards y'all like that. And they do not have to all be laying out flat. They can be, um, they don't have to not touch because they're gonna cook down anyway. You're gonna drizzle some um, oil on them. I'm using avocado oil. You, um, or you can use olive oil or avocado oil, whichever one. I kind of would say not to use vegetable oil just because vegetable oil is really heavy. And I don't think you would want to have um, vegetable oil. Like I think it, they, it holds more, it makes your food greasy. And with my husband's meal, because his is beef, um, it's going to make its own grease anyway. So I'm cutting my pieces of carrots smaller. Cause y'all, I just told y'all, oh, me and carrots ain't the best of friends. So I'm going to cut mine into like little smaller pieces that I can, that I can tolerate. Yeah. That's about my speed right there. I might do one more carrot for myself and I'm putting all of the vegetables on the ends and I'm going to put the meat in the middle that way when the meats cook the juices flow out they can flow this way towards the green beans that way towards the carrots and everything else so these are small I'm just going to use this carrot here um oops this was my carrot I don't know oh well I'll just cut it into a little pieces like this and I can promise y'all I probably would not eat all these carrots and if I do I'm gonna pat myself on the back okay I'm going to pat myself on the back do y'all ever sign, sign, sign up to do stuff and then be like oh my god why did I do that okay so let me tell y'all something I did that just did it recently so our neighborhood is having a yard sale I love going to a good yard sale. Oh my gosh. Summertime yard sales and Saturday mornings. That's my jam. That's one of my jams. So our neighborhood is having one. It's the first time that we've had like a community yard sale. Yeah, I done signed up for it. And how about I don't even want to do it now? Why? Just because I don't feel like um, taking stuff out and putting prices on it. But they sent us the cutest little packet I got stuff all over it but they gave us a packet with like the price tags for everything let me show y'all I can move all this stuff off but let me show you what they gave us they gave us a little supply list to tell you what you need garbage bags tarps notebook pen folding tables packing materials I don't have nothing to sell that's gonna require a packing material um category signs um muscle to move large items then it tells you how to basically how to price your things according to yard sales in the area then they gave us it all came in this goodie bag then they gave us these cute little stickers that already have prices on them two sheets and the prices go up to twenty dollars and then of course you have some that say make an offer we don't have like a lot of big ticket items well they could potentially be big ticket items like a stereo equipment um a tv stand a stereo stand stuff like that so let me wash my hands because i just finished touching that stuff all right um so yeah, I'm just like, oh my gosh. So now, and I have like paintings that are really nice paintings that I'm gonna get rid of just because they're not, they don't fit um, my design. All right, I'm just rough chopping these mushrooms. This was not on the list, but y'all know I love me a mushroom. So we're gonna go ahead and throw these mushrooms up here. And I'm gonna throw the mushrooms on top of the green beans because I like mushrooms and green beans. I think that they taste very good when they're together. 
that's just me though okay maybe it might be somebody else but i know that that's what i like all right and I'm, don't don't um don't what i'm gonna show you guys all of this before i even put it in the oven all right next thing we're gonna do we're gonna add some of these brussels sprouts to my pan because i want brussels sprouts he's not a sprout person i am and i'm like do i want to have them or keep them whole and as you can tell mine is going to be mostly vegetables i'm putting salmon on one pan and beef on the other i was going to add corn and i still have to have room for the onions but the onions are going to go on top of the meat um I was gonna put corn on here, but the more I think about it, I think I'll just boil the corn and we can just have the corn as a side to go with the food. And my nose would start itching when I start cooking. Allergies. Um, yeah. Oh, and I had already rinsed off these sprouts too, by the way. Everything is rinsed. I like clean food. You know what? I've never eaten. Yes, I was, I was going to say I've never eaten a raw Brussels sprout, but I have because I've had them in salads, like sh um, shredded Brussels sprouts and salad. Pretty good if you haven't tried it. And if you like Brussels sprouts, try it in your salad. I think you would like it. I'm here for everybody, for people who cook all the time, for people who don't cook all the time, for people who don't like to cook. For people who want to learn how to cook for people who want to learn how to cook different many different recipes i'm here for it all if you have some ideas or if you have a, a recipe that you want me to try that you thought about but you haven't gotten the gumption or the will or the the energy to try let me know i might be willing to cook it record it i think that's enough brussels sprouts yeah, that's a lot because I still have these two nice pieces of salmon and I still got to put these potatoes up here. Or am I going to put potatoes on here? Yeah, I am. Now the potatoes, I often waste um, sweet potatoes, right? <laughs> when I'm doing sweet potatoes, this don't cut them like me because this is not how you should be cutting a sweet potato. I need a smaller knife and I'm just going to get one. Y'all know what? I'm dedicated because let me tell y'all what time it is and I'm sitting here cooking. It is a quarter till eight. Quarter to eight. But this video will go up. I'm telling you, it's going up. So we got the potato and I'm not putting a lot of potatoes on the pan because I'm also going to fix rice on the side. And the potatoes, I'm cutting them into thinner pieces because y'all know it takes sweet potatoes a minute to cook if they are whole. Mm, they still got skin on it. So I'm going to um, quarter the slices and I'm going to put them here. How was y'all's day today? Did y'all do anything fun? Y'all got, it's middle of the week. Y'all got anything planned for the weekend? Y'all, so check this out. I had um, um, surgery one year and I couldn't, you know, I had to stay upstairs and that was hard for me because I'm a busy body. I like to be downstairs. I like to be in my kitchen. I like to be on the back porch. I just like, I enjoy our house, okay? I'm one of those people that I can't sit still, so I like to be on the move. So <laughs> he had to cook, like he, he loves to cook. He can cook too. Oh my God, his food is so good. But one thing he don't like cooking, mushrooms. Cause he don't like the way they look and he don't like the way they smell. <laughs> y'all could have seen his face when he was bringing those any dish that I, and at the time i was eating meat so it was like he would be fixing the food that we were eating but i would want mushrooms one day with something and he would just be like 
Oh my God. <laughs> what? No, the mushrooms, they stink. They're ugly. I don't like the way they look. So funny. All right, so now I'm gonna take the, um, I'm gonna use this knife because it's clean. And I'm gonna go ahead and slice my onion because I'm going to sit this on top of the meat. You, if you want, you can use it and put chunks of onion into your pan, which I mean, if I had room on in the pan, I probably would layer onions in the pan and have onion on the um, on top of the food. But my pan too small. So we just going about it the way that we can. I'm so excited because this is the second onion. Where did I even get these onions from? I know where I didn't get them from. Food Lion. Whatever store I got them from. These are actually good. Did I get these from Lidl? I may have. I think I did get these from Lidl. But they're good. Those last onions I bought from um, Food Lion. They made me a little angry. Because them jokers was rotten in the middle. Um... They were horrible. It was like they had froze. They were frozen. Then they thawed them. So they froze the. Um, y'all saw I used the wrong knife. Did y'all see that? Um, they froze them and then they thawed them. And when they thawed them, what do you think happened? The middle was like water. Horrible absolutely horrible i don't like the texture of this one either now that i'm speaking that feels weird um but at least the inside of this one is not yellow like it looked i didn't even like the way it looked it just didn't look good so yeah all right i'm gonna move all of this stuff out of the way so i can pull the pans closer to me and then um We'll go ahead and season our meat and pop it in the oven. All right, uh, if you notice, I do a lot of cooking without gloves. I know a lot of people, I see a lot of people cooking with gloves. I don't particularly use gloves. I just don't. It's very rare. It's really rare that you will see me using gloves unless I'm cooking for other people, like a group of people. But cooking home cooked meals, if it's not turmeric or garlic, that's what I forgot. I need to add some garlic to this. And I have some, oh no, do I have any minced garlic? Yes. Um. I'm gonna use minced garlic, but if I'm not using something that's gonna like stain my hands or um, smell funny, I'm not um, I'm not big on gloves when I'm cooking. I just don't. Now I will tell you this: I'll use gloves every now and then if I'm in one of those. Um, sometimes, like you know how like the smell of chicken and sometimes stuff like that will upset your stomach. If I'm having one of those days where I feel like stuff is making me nauseous. I will definitely put gloves on because I'm texture weird sometimes and so I just don't even want to feel the the raw meat so just had to get that little disclaimer out all right so here you have I have my pan um with the carrots the sweet potatoes the green beans um and then beef is going on this one and then this one is carrots Brussels sprouts um I probably should use different pans but this one is a smaller pan. It has the carrots, Brussels sprouts, um, sweet potatoes. And then here, it's the mushrooms and the... Oh, that's a better view. The mushrooms and the... Um, what you call it? Green beans. So, let's go back so that y'all can see this one clear like you saw the other one. You got your green beans and your sweet potatoes. And then you got your carrots. So now we're going to take the beef out and we're just going to put it on the pan. And now that I just told y'all I felt weird, this feels weird touching this. I don't know why. It's so weird to me. Sometimes 
textures bother me, sometimes they don't. When I was pregnant, I couldn't stand the to feel raw meat. And y'all know what else bothered me? The smell of Burger King. And I could not stand the smell of food from Burger King. It just smelled like pure garlic to me. And um, I don't know if I ever really got over that. Like sometimes Burger King still stinks to me. And I think that's the reason why smelling garlic sometimes makes me dry heave because it takes me back to those days. Child, that was 22 years ago. Ooh, Lord, my child is 22. And about to graduate, May 10th, she graduates. Now let me wash my hands. And I need to turn my TV on because um, I've been keeping up with the Nesto um, Williams case. Um, Shirley Strawberries husband I guess you can still call him that I guess they still married but um one of my favorite content creators is about to go live and uh, do some discussion on it because I oh and it's loud shoot no he goes nephew he goes to school so he can't go all right so hopefully the tv is not too loud we need to put the salmon on this pan. All right, I have two decent sized pieces of salmon here. All right, and let's see if we can get them up here in a nice little fashion. I should probably cut this tail off, and I am. I'm gonna cut the tail off. Y'all, these are the absolute best scissors ever. I got these scissors from Pampered Chef probably 20 years ago, maybe longer. They stay sharp. Mm-hmm. They stay sharp and they cut through. Let's see. They um stay really sharp and they cut through basically any and everything that you're trying to cut. All right, so I've done that. And I'm going to show you these pans real quick before we get to seasoning. And then we're going to put them in the oven. And I've already preheated my oven to 375. And it's probably going to take... I'm going to say anywhere from 35 to 40 minutes for everything to cook completely. So there's my, hold on, there's the salmon on the pan. And if you want to take your salmon or whatever fish you have and cut it into cubes or slices, that's an idea. I'm going to cut my salmon into some strips here. Yeah. Cutting the salmon because if I don't want that huge piece at, at one time, and this is what actually helps to make it a meal prep meal. Yeah, because you got your pieces. All right. It's not, <laughs> it is not, these cuts are not straight at all. But if I wanted to, this would be six different meals. Hold on, I'm gonna show y'all. One moment, please. Look at that. So now I have six pieces of salmon and that could technically be six different meals. All right, so let's go ahead and drizzle some olive, I mean some avocado oil on everything. And you wanna make sure you're getting it up here really good because you want your seasonings to stick to it. And it's not gonna be oily when you, when you finish cooking it, trust me. 
I wish I had some um, herb butter. Oh my gosh, because that would be so good on this salmon and the beef. But I don't have any, so. All right. So I've drizzled my oil. How in the world, I missed the pan. All right, so I've drizzled my oil. Now I'm just gonna season everything. This is Creole seasoning, and I'm going over everything on my pan with the Creole seasoning. And the reason I'm separating the seasonings like this is because what I'm going to put on his already has a salt element to it and I don't want to add like too much salt to the meal. So I'm adding some Creole seasoning and it is about to make me cough because that stuff is strong. <coughs> Woo! Creole seasoning and Cajun seasoning. If y'all have never used them, them jokers will make you cough up your whole lung. Onion powder, y'all know the holy grail, onion and garlic powder. And yes, we're having savory sweet potatoes. All right. So now we have our onion powder. I'm running out of onion powder. I need to get some more. Fill, refill my own. Can I get a refill? Can I get a refill? How many of y'all remember that song? This is Old Bay and it's going on my fish only. Cause I do not want my vegetables tasting completely like Old Bay. So I'm putting this on the salmon. All right. This is, that was the onion powder. This is the garlic powder. Got to have the onion powder and the garlic powder a little pizzazz for you all right next thing another one of my favorites smoked paprika and i'm only putting this on the meat all right all right then we're going to go in with some italian seasoning and we're going to do that on the vegetables and the meat but we're not putting a lot because we don't want to overpower um the flavors of the meat with this because y'all know italian seasoning and herbs de provence it can be kind of oh pro tip trick if you've never seen it done before if you have seasonings that are in well most seasons have holes in it because of you know you've got the holes in the jar the top the lid twist it when you twist it it creates um some kind of i'm gonna say inertia and that is not the word um but it allows your seasonings to actually come out more all right and on his last but not least we are going with one of our favorite favorite seasonings for beef this stuff is absolutely amazing i have actually put this on um on my um vegetables before when i was roasting them oh my gosh it's so good so in here is let me see if i can tell y'all in this packet the seasonings kosher salt pepper rosemary garlic herbs and spices i guess they don't want us to know exactly what herbs and spices are but let me tell you when i start tell you it adds some flavor to your food it adds flavor All right, and I'm gonna add a little bit to my vegetables. Just because I got some extra in my hand and I don't wanna throw it out. All right. All right, so now, last thing seasoning wise, we're gonna go in with some cracked black pepper on the meats of both pans. I think I want some on my Brussels sprouts too. Oh, and the green beans. You know what? I'm gonna add some black pepper to his green beans too. And the carrots. I should have just did the whole pan, right? All right. Then the last thing, I'm gonna add the onions. Just go add the onions to the top of the meat. Alright. I don't 
don't even like when onions have skins like that. The little, um, <laughs> like it's shedding. I do not like that. So I always have to take that out when I see it. If I see it coming off of the onion, I don't, mm -mm, I can't cook that because I can just imagine when you're eating the food, it reminds me like, is that gonna be like cellophane? I know, I'm extra. Don't pay me no mind. Just take your onions and go ahead and spread it across your food, okay? Just go ahead and spread it. All right, and I think that, do I have any lemon? I think I'm gonna put some lemon on top of my, um, on top of my salmon. I think I'm gonna do that. Just a little bit. Ugh. Whew. Yep. Just a little bit. And since I have onion on my hands, I'm gonna put this the rest of this lemon in the dish in the garbage disposal because I use our lemons to clean our garbage disposals. Alright. And that is it. So here you have this one sheet pan with the beef, the onions, and the veggies. And then you have the salmon. And now I'm going to put them in the oven. And then I'll come back when they're done. Oh, garlic. Got to put some garlic. Because he is a garlic lover. Oops. You know what? I think I might have to stir this meat up now because that garlic fell into a trunk. He loves garlic, so the juice on the meat, that's going to be perfect for him. Me, not so much. <laughs> I like garlic, but I don't, mm -mm, I don't like it that much. All right. This looks like this is about to be good. So I'm going to put it in the oven, and then I'll come back once it's all done. I'm probably going to add some more onions to his because he really likes cooked onions a lot yeah so i'll just add some more here and i need to put this little bit of onion back in the refrigerator all right so they're going in the oven and we'll be back we back food is done i'm gonna show it to you without trying to i'm gonna show try to show it to you without burning myself Okay, we have salmon. You know what? I think I might. I was going to take the camera off the tripod. I'm not even going to do that. I'm going to shift the camera down because that's hot. Here is the salmon with the mushrooms and onions. That's mine, of course. Sweet potatoes, carrots, Brussels sprouts. And we have the beef. Still has a little juice down there, but that's the beef, the uh, sweet potatoes, the carrots, and the green beans. So these are the two sheet pan meals that we made today. And this is gonna be food for a few days. I'm gonna try a piece of the Brussels sprout. It's hot. Mmm, has a little bit of a crunch on it. That's good. Let's taste a carrot. Still has some texture, not too mushy. These sprouts though, oh my gosh, I, I should have put some Parmesan cheese on them. Because cheese on my Brussels sprouts, chef's kiss. Sweet potato. Mm-hmm. I should be using a fork. But I'm not. And this is the green bean, mushroom, and onion. I don't know if you can see that. Mm-hmm. That's perfect. I'm going to find a small piece of salmon. Because the skin, I didn't oil the pan and the skin is stuck. Ooh, that's hot. Mm, that's good. And I know his tastes fine. I, he part might end up putting like teriyaki on his or something. 
because he's like he likes different sauces but not like until it's drowning in it but just like to glaze over it i might just do that add a little bit of teriyaki to the top just so it can give give it a little glaze on the top and yeah but this was today's sheet pan meals mm, i love the crunchy pieces i don't know if y'all could hear that i'm gonna put everything let everything cool off so i'm gonna fix my plate first but then I'm going to let everything cool off, put it in bowls so that we can just grab and go. And um, that's going to be it for th this evening. I hope you enjoyed this sheet pan meal. Cook with me. I don't know what we're cooking next. I just got a bedtime reminder. <laughs> it's late. Quarter after nine. Um, past my bedtime show. But... I'm not sure what we're cooking next, but next week is going to be another cooking with cocktails. So I will talk to you guys soon. If you have any ideas, drop down in the comments. Let me know if you have an idea of a mocktail, cocktail, or a meal or a dish, whatever. Let me know and we'll do that next Wednesday. Or I might put, a po put out a poll on the community tab. We'll see. But until then, love, peace, and blessings. Talk to you soon. Love you guys.